Our Impact Earth Report tonight takes us to Coconino National Forest, where recent storms have really boosted our state's snowpack and water supply. Meteorologist Jorge Torres got a behind the scenes look at how SRP officials measure and calculate our snowpack. Don't be embarrassed, they fall off. Mine fell off earlier this morning. It's a slow march through the more than two feet of snow in northern Arizona for journalists and photographers. Let's try to all stay single file because you don't want to mess up this snow. But for meteorologist Bo Svoma from the Salt River Project, it's a march to gauge and measure how much snow has fallen after last week's winter storms. We want to understand how much water is up here on the watershed ready to um, flow downhill toward the reservoirs. Twice a month in the winter, meteorologists from SRP visit the more than 10 weather observation sites on the Salt and Verde watersheds, known as snow tells, gathering key measurements and data that go into determining how large the snowpack is. How do they measure it? By using what is known as a federal sampler, which is a metal tube that they drop into the snowpack, measuring the snow depth and the snow water equivalent, or the amount of water that would cover the ground if the snow was melted. All right, we're going to the next measurement. Measurement after measurement shows a snow depth of more than 30 inches, which Vomo says is now well above average. Which is amazing because a month ago things were looking very dry, so the start to February was incredible. Some of the more than two feet of high country snow measured here may potentially fill up the reservoirs and reach the 2.5 million SRP customers in the valley. Great news for the water supply. If it's too much snow melt, we could even spill from the reservoir system and make flood releases. 24. It's too soon to say if that will happen, and even if it does, SRP says to continue conserving water as you normally would when the state is in a prolonged drought. We have a uh, multiple water supplies in the Phoenix metropolitan area just because one source is doing well and another source might not be. For Impact Earth on the Coconino National Forest, I'm meteorologist Jorge Torres for ABC 15, Arizona.